But we got a very well serious question here. Okay. All right. Flies like my scooter. Huh? Why neck, somebody's neck, a neck. happy little camper? <laughs> okay, now this is coming from a guy who does not want to be named on the air. Yeah, all right. So uh, make sure. George, that. are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, both female. Okay. Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, I just recently, I just recently won my hearing for my annulment. Oh. But we have been separated for two years, and I still find it very hard to move on with my life. Any advice you guys can give me would be much appreciated. Wait, he won. He won his case. Yeah. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming like they it. have a kid. So, because that's how you really well. You win in a moment. Yeah, for lack of better definition, yeah. I don't like to call guy. it that. So, it's, it's a guy. He's a oh. guy. So, uh, that's that's actually difficult. Um, moving on is probably one of the most difficult things that you can do, especially if you're coming off a bad marriage. Um, speaking from experience, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. And the one thing that you have to do is to give yourself that time. Because if you don't, just like what James said earlier, you got to work on you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. No, I'm, I'm still, <laughs> sorry, I'm just listening to how you, you're... Yeah, yeah. Because, because, I mean, you, you, you've you talked about this before and you have been through this. Yes. What would you have done differently to speed up the process or make it better? Is there any mistake that you could isolate and maybe help this guy out and say... Looking back, you 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 can't there because can't it is a time. long process. Uh, the, the only way you can speed it up is well, I can't really say it on the air, but uh, <laughs> outlet. Yeah, but, but yeah. does that does that make you feel better or worse? I mean, do you do you end up feeling like oh? Because see, with me, it took years. Eh? It took before years before you found before you were with anyone else. Is that uh, no, no, no. Um, that that was on. actually one of my biggest mistakes. Why is that? After uh, even during the annulment process, I wanted to jump into a relationship mm. as fast as possible. I needed to get did back you? on the horse. I did. The, the, and uh, the thought process being not a nice thing to say about your new girlfriend, the horse. I mean, dude, <laughs> 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 you gotta get back on the horse. Like, come on, dude. No one, no one is no one upset. There. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss the Tito uh, jokes right there. I miss that. No, but, but it's it's hard. Your own, and it's your own pace, man. I mean, it like, is. It, it is. It, it, Nobody can dictate that because we'll have no idea of what that that marriage was like. I don't think anyone will have any idea. Not even your parents. No, probably. no, no, no. Uh, only the two of you will know what went on and what mistakes were made. And, you know, wh wh where the line gets very tricky and dangerous is you can be disillusioned and even heartbroken or even completely betrayed or feeling whatever you feel about your partner. But are you, if you lose faith in the institution of marriage per se, then it gets a little trickier because, you know, some people, they have such bad breakups that they actually completely lose faith in the whole idea and concept of marriage. Mm. It's like, hey, that's pointless. That's not the way human beings were designed. Then we have a real problem because that's going to take a lot longer, I think. I know a lot of people, not firsthand, who have have that happen to them. Now, after a long relationship or even not not even married relationship but seeing how other people are breaking up or getting a divorce getting annulment they have lost faith in the institution of marriage like what James said um, there are now a lot of people who are not getting married just because of that I did at one time you didn't want to get married I did want to I'm still want to I'm still actually open. you're still open to it I'm open to the idea of marriage but if it doesn't happen I'm ready for it and you're okay with it kind of yeah. No, but yeah, again, anyway, but of. a lot of I mean, married people get married older now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Like a lot of my friends are still single. My Tito got married and he was fifty-eight. Wow! Mm. First time. First time. Wow. I feel like there's a there's a change coming in the times. Yeah. yeah, there is. Yeah. And you know, I think it's uh, it's it's going to have a quite a drastic effect on on basically mankind because. They're not having, even when they do get married, a lot of them are not having, having kids, kids by choice. Yeah. Um, then there's a certain type of uh, cultures and certain uh, races that are having more kids than ever True. before. Yeah. So this will have an impact on, I mean, in 20 years' time, you will see this complete different <laughs> picture that we're seeing right now. Not right away, but... Uh, not right away, but give, give it, it 20 time. years, and then eventually when we get hit another generation... Then you will see a massive spike. For example, you've got, um, yeah, it's, it, people, we're, we're straying too far. <laughs> His question, how do you, how do you, how move, do you move on? on? Time. I think, I think Brian 
couldn't have said better. It's time. Time talaga. Just be patient. Oh. Yeah, there, there's no app for that. Well, actually, there is. There's a couple, but not. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> surefire solution, right? Just take your time and be. Here's the only advice I could probably give you that I'd really stick by. Just be very careful with the next person that you're with. Because you could be letting out all of your... Yeah. Uh, just, just be sensitive. That person has nothing to do with all of this. Correct. Right? So, you know, Good you point. might be bringing in some baggage there that could yeah. really screw somebody up. Which is what I did. There you go. And uh, But fortunately, the well, she's my ex-girlfriend now, but fortunately, we were able to part in very good ways. And she understood where I was coming from. And she understood the situation that <laughs> right there and then, I knew that I wasn't ready to be in a relationship because I was still messed up. So, bottom line is, pare uh, to the guy uh, who messaged us. I can't say your name, diba. Right? But um, the one thing that you have to do is to really number one, give yourself time. Number two, assess your responsibilities. And number three, take it slow. Yeah. If you yeah. do think get think about in- the other person. Yeah, think True. about always the other always think person. about the other yeah. person because you you're coming in with such. I mean, you're. Especially if that other person's never been married and all that. They're thinking it's just a happy dating thing, whatever. But yeah. you've got some deep issues that you are now trying to, you know, use this person to get over. Oh, be careful. Yeah. Be careful. And on that- Man-made.